Hey, what's happening, everybody? Welcome back. Plant Abundance here. So tonight, the wife and I are in the backyard food forest, pulling a quick harvest of some sweet treat blueberries. This is an absolutely delectable fruit. It's quickly become one of our favorite fruit trees that we have growing in our backyard. Now, the blueberry fruit, if you're not familiar, is a hybrid of both plum and cherry. And in this particular variety, the cherry really comes through on top. Both the texture and the flavor more closely resemble a cherry than a plum. <laughs> As you can see, they grow in clusters on the tree. And I went ahead and skipped doing any thinning of the fruit earlier this year, which was why we've got such an abundance. The fruits are a bit smaller than they would be if I had done the thinning. But overall, the tree is looking very healthy. This is a very productive year. One of my favorite aspects of this fruit tree is that it does hold on to the fruit for quite some time. A lot of my other stone fruit varieties, once they ripen on the tree, if not harvested quickly, they begin to get a bit mushy and turn overripe pretty quick. This variety can hang on the tree for weeks so we can spread out the harvest and enjoy it for a longer period of time. This tree has been in the ground for 10 years now, and doesn't time fly by? Seems like just yesterday we were putting these trees in the ground, and now they're providing all this abundance for us. And so if you're thinking of adding a new variety of fruit tree in your backyard, this is one I would say you should highly consider. Well, we wish you were here to enjoy some of this harvest with us today, but we're happy to have you along with us here on the video. So besides the sweet treat blueberry, we've been enjoying many variety of harvest in the backyard food forest. Everything from blackberries and raspberries, gomi berries and goji berries, still waiting on these almonds here, as well as some of the beauty of the ornamentals like the hollyhock flower. And of course, we've got the typical annual crops growing this year, tomatoes, eggplants, peppers, and plenty of unique varieties from lemongrass to chayote, longevity spinach, you know, I can't express enough how great of an investment gardening can be in your life. We basically started with a blank canvas here and each and every year plugged in many new plants, mostly perennials, creating many layers and utilizing the airspace to maximize production and create harmony in the garden with proper design, helping to shade the food forest floor along with the mulching and chop and drop we're doing, which is helping to retain moisture during the hotter summer months. And I'm always surprised at all the different volunteers that pop up at this point. Everything from fava beans, purslane, amaranth, Swiss chard, tree kale, you name it, there's a lot of things that come up that don't even require any of our inputs or attention. And over time, they find their perfect location to grow and thrive and provide year after year for us. Nature is an example of what abundance really means. You can start off with a single seed they can grow into a 30-foot fruit tree, producing thousands and thousands of fruits, with Mother Nature maintaining and doing the majority of the work for you. That's going to wrap up this video, everybody. Have a good one. Until next time, this is Dan and Alice from PlantAbundance.com. Take care. We'll be talking to you again soon.